Hey, good afternoon. I did not know it was going to be a lunch and learn, so this is, this is going to be real fun. <laughs> it's going to get real fun real fast. All right, so uh, before I dive in, hold, let's just do a, make sure that this is working. So, um, hi, I'm Kevin. Great to, meet, great to see you all. Hope to meet you at Top Golf or dinner tonight or dinner tomorrow. Uh, I think we're trying to plan a karaoke situation Tuesday, so it's a soft plug for that. Um, before I get going, I've got a confession, a disclaimer, and then a story. Good? You good with that? Cool. First, the, the, the confession, right? Uh, when I interviewed for this role about four months ago after being at Google and at LinkedIn for 12 years, my now VP asked me, hey, why do you want to work at Mountain? And I told her verbatim, you can fact check this, that it's because I'm a sucker for marketing. Like so much so that I love video, my wife and I will not pay for the ad free subscription because we want to see the ads. We want to see them. Who does that, right? And, but I think video and like TV commercials specifically has a way of getting a glimpse, a mirror, a window into culture and what's going on in, in today's world. And I like to be in tune with what's going on in today's world. And so I'm um, excited to be with you at this like TV and video insider summit. All right, so that's the, the confession. The disclaimer. So as it was pointed out, I did present in Austin uh, a few weeks ago. It was a great time. I'm still recovering from that. Uh, we made some adjustments. I made my first a couple executive decisions on the presentation that you're about to see, and we're going to change it up. We're going to add some video. And in the video is my chief creative officer, Ryan Reynolds. Now, the, from what I understand, it's best not to look directly at Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I mean, Blake's great too. Um, but uh, so he'll be virtually on stage for at least three videos towards the end. So if anything else, just stick around for lunch and actually get to see Ryan Reynolds. He does a great job of articulating what we can do with our platform. Cool. All right, now it's a story, a story about mental models. And so is anyone familiar with Roger Bannister? Not many folks. OK, so in 1954, Roger Bannister was the first ever human to run the mile in under four minutes, right? Three minutes and 56 seconds to be exact. And before he did it, all the pundits, all the medical professionals said it could not be done, that the body would just give out, the heart would explode, and he would, he would be dead. And, but sure enough, he you know, ran the mile under four minutes. He crossed the finish line. And as you guessed it, he crossed the finish line. He passed out. And he died. No, he didn't die. What, what, are you serious? That's how we're going to open the Monday afternoon with a story about a guy running across the finish line and then passing out? No, no. So what happened, right? In the next three years, 15 other humans went to run the mile in under four minutes. And so did the body just evolve suddenly to have superhuman legs, superhuman heart? No. We just had one person to challenge the status quo, one person to challenge the mental model of how things were to be done and how that mile could be run in under four minutes. And today, hopefully, in this very short presentation, I'm going to share with you how Mountain is challenging the status quo, challenging the mental model of how performance can be measured on the biggest screen in the home. Good? Cool. I love stories. OK, so today's key takeaway, TV has an opportunity, has a, you know, as we know in this room, to make a brand stand out. No surprises there. These are the four things we'll talk about, competing for audience attention, how performance marketing on TV works, some enhancements we've made, and then some of the targeting and measurement stuff that we've, we've done in, in the last few years. And then we'll bring it to life with my CCO, Ryan Reynolds. Cool. All right, so first, it is a brave, it's a different, and so whatever adjective you want here, it's a different world out there for brands and for consumers alike. I've been in the, for, for the brand side, I've been in the industry for now 15 years, and I will tell you that the expectations seem to be a little higher. Right? The margin for error is a little bit smaller, right? and everyone is competing and reevaluating their strategies. The whole idea of throwing money and kind of hope it works, that doesn't happen anymore. Right? I was speaking with a former colleague of mine at LinkedIn, and I asked, hey, how are things going? And she asked, well, she said, well, Kevin, I think a lot of my advertisers are experiencing FOMU. I'm like, FOMO? Like fear of missing out? No, FOMU, the fear of messing up. 
I'm like, oh, wow, that is, that's real. I'm going to write that down. And so that's there. And then on the consumer side, it feels like there's everything, everywhere, all at once, right? There's so much noise out there. Um, and plus, video is more accessible than ever before. I mean, I might date myself here, but can anyone here, show of hands, remember having to put on pants to go rent a movie? <laughs> I just turned 39 last week, and so I'm definitely much older uh, now. So yeah, anyways. Um, so now, let's be real. The, the TV has always been the most important attention-grabbing channel for decades. I mean, if you had to think of your most favorite ad, chances are it was a TV ad. Nobody's running over saying, did you see that great text ad? Oh my gosh, it's so nice. No, they're seeing, oh wow, look at this video ad. Look at this video, this TV commercial. That's what's happening, right? Um, and the problem is that it was, you know, once untargetable, unmeasurable, right? And so the whole idea is like, how, how do we create a medium that's predominantly built for awareness into something that's more performance and performance marketing you know, related. And for some of us in this room, which I know, uh, you're familiar with CTV, connected TV. However, what you may not know is some of the enhancements that have been made in the platform. It's evolved over the course of time, uh, but many folks still think of this awareness play and not necessarily performance marketing. And now we've made some, some really good tech enhancements at Mountain specifically. This is verifiable on LinkedIn. We've grown 93% year over year in the engineering resources that we've hired on, 70% year over year in the operations resources that we've, we've uh, made. And so with that said, there's gonna be four specific enhancements that I'll tell you about and hopefully bring, it to, bring this to life. All right, so first and foremost, affinity-based targeting. So we all know in this room that it's easy to target people that you know, people that have interacted with you in some way, shape, or form. They've purchased from you before, they're on a newsletter, it's easy. But as my Peloton instructor tells me, we humans were, were built to do hard things, right? So this is an opportunity for you to engage with folks that may not know who you are but could be interested in what you have to offer, products, solutions, and services. Right, um, an opportunity to introduce your brand to others uh, that may not know who you are. Just recently, I'm, I'm, so I'm about 15, 16 weeks to Mountain. I'm not too sure what the statute of limitations are in terms of how many more weeks I can say that I'm new to Mountain, but uh, one of the advertisers that's now live said that we do not want to be on HGTV. Nope, don't want to go on there. And after some subtle convincing and some negotiation, they decided to let it run. And now, three weeks later, it's their highest performing channel because they found a whole new audience on that, on that channel. Uh, audience segment reporting, not too different from maybe what you've seen in other channels. However, we're able to get really granular on the audiences that are performing and giving you the right conversions and the, the most valuable visits uh, to your website. And then more importantly, hopefully you can take those learnings and apply them across your media mix, not just online, but hopefully offline as well. And then this cross device measurement, I think we can all agree that we live in a very interconnected world. I think the stat I read was 4.2 devices per person. Everyone here has a phone, right? How many of you have a tablet? Raise your hand. I have two tablets. I have no idea why I have two <laughs> tablets. Um, but when we're watching TV, we're constantly checking our phone, right? And if we see something, we're excited, like, oh, what is that? We'll grab our phone and hopefully go to the website and maybe complete a purchase or do some additional investigation. Now, at Mountain, we have this thing called Mountain Verified Visits, which helps us understand uh, if someone is planning on converting with a different device within the household, and we don't take credit for visits driven by another paid media source. So if they see an ad, and they click on a paid social ad or paid search ad, and then go to your website and then convert, then we won't take credit for that, which I think is, which I think is pretty cool. And then the fourth one is incrementality reporting. So this is already built into the platform no additional costs or upfronts needed, uh, but we built our platform to be audience first and advertiser first. And so we'll show you what your connected TV campaigns would have received regardless um, uh, if, if you ran them or not. And so it's already built into the platform, which is really, really cool. That being said, as promised, uh, I've got three videos to share with you. So these first two videos are featuring our Chief Creative Officer, Ryan Reynolds, and then the third video is Ryan Reynolds with our Director of platform experience, Amani Clark, to go through the results of these campaigns, and we'll show that here now. Hey there, it's Ryan Reynolds, and if you're seeing this, you probably work in the marketing world. Now, I just want to let you know that my marketing firm, Maximum Effort, 
is merging with Mountain, which is one of the fastest growing companies in ad tech. They built an amazing self-serve connected TV platform, which not coincidentally, we used to upload this video. Now, if you're not in marketing, I apologize, you must be very confused. Visit mountain.com to schedule a demo. Unless you're not in marketing, which again, massive apologies. Again, don't, don't, don't look directly at him, right? Okay, now the, for the second, the second video. This is Mountain. This is your brand on Mountain. Any questions? Yes, you probably have a ton. This is a, a pretty blind opening. Anyway, Mountain is one of the fastest growing connected TV platforms, and they just merged with Maximum Effort, the creative marketing company owned by this guy. No, no, this guy. That's why the Mountain Volcano metaphor kind of works. It's great tech, and it's great creative in one place. Visit mountain.com for more details. Don't worry, there's no lava. Okay, a little bit different. You don't get you know, Ryan in that video, but he got his voice, which is probably just as good. Um, with that said, now comes a minute 39 video of actually like what happened with our director of platform experiences, Amani Clark. So I'll play that here now. Well, hey there, it's Ryan Reynolds, Chief Creative Officer of Mountain, the fastest growing platform in streaming TV. Now, I just said some words that I barely understand, which is why we're bringing in an expert, Imani Clark. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Imani, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Good, I'm good, okay, well, first question, what am I doing here? You're here because your company, Maximum Effort, recently made two ads for Mountain that we've been running to see how they perform. Right, right, and how, how have they been doing? Well, as a reminder, we uploaded two ads, one starring you on camera and one narrated by you. We targeted people we knew worked in marketing, set a $25,000 spin cap, and we set site visits as the key success metric. Just tell me what I want to know, Imani. Well, in a surprising twist, the ad without you has been performing better. Wow. Um, that oh, um, that is crushing uh, for an actor to hear. You, you literally just broke my soul into a thousand tiny pieces. I know, I'm sorry. We were surprised too. The one without you has driven 117% more site visits than the ad with you. The visit rate was 1.61%, and since our algorithm optimizes for performance, the best performing networks were CNN, USA Networks, and NBC Sports. Is, is that supposed to make me feel better? Or well, you made an app that's been working. That must feel nice. You are so damn cheery, Imani. I can't stay mad at you. To recap, Imani is awesome, and the <laughs> brands who have paid me so much money for my face over the years have totally wasted their cash. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, Imani. I think. Visit mountain.com to schedule a demo. Okay, so the... the <laughs> Great videos. I'm really happy that we got the permission. Ryan, if you're watching, thank you. Um, the, the whole story here is that, you know, ooh, A-B testing. No, no. <laughs> A-B testing has been around for quite some time, right? The idea is here is that we're able to actually effectively and efficiently measure conversions of visits based on the creative success, right? We're able to do that. That's what we want. That's what we need. I think this morning we talked about transparency. I think that's really cool, right? And we are very much at the forefront of that, which Leads me to my, I think my second to last slide, maybe third, second to third slide. Um, we are always evolving. Um, we were the first performance TV uh, platform there, and um, obviously we're incorporating a lot of what you're hearing in the industry, machine learning, uh, AI, and we do a, do a ton of things in the background for advertisers. One of them is that we actually optimize each campaign per hour up to 657 times. Um, and this saves time, money, obviously you get to see what's working, what's not. And I think that's what advertisers deserve, you know? And so audience first, advertiser first, and we really need to lean into that transparency. We will continue to do so moving forward, going into the balance of this year, which is weird, and going into 2024. So these are the key takeaways. Um, there's a lot going on out there. However, with Connected TV and hopefully with Mountain, you can see that there's opportunities to really lean in and truly effectively measure the performance of your TV creative on, on our platform and hopefully save some money at the same time. Um, with that said, if you're part of your organization that you know, is considering trying something new for the first time, or if you want to you know, challenge the status quo, challenge the mental model of how things have been done in the past, I'd love to talk. This is my real email, and this is my real LinkedIn address. And I'd love to connect with you either today, tomorrow, or sometime next week. Thanks so much.